Um, why? Because it's there. Um, I've been working in corporate for about 20, uh, almost 20 years, but I did retire. It didn't take long though. Um, I set up my own agency, but now I'm back in corporate with Wonder Man. When people ask me, why am I doing this? And I borrowed this line from Greg Mallory, he's the, one of the first guys to climb Mount Everest. Someone asked him, why are you climbing Mount Everest? And his answer was, because it's there. <laughs> So that's it. Why am I in Wonder Man? I'm actually glad and almost sad to see familiar faces here because, you know, these are like a group of smart people. What else can you share with people who, who knows about Facebook, about Twitter, about social media? So I figured the best way is to share what I recently, well, not so recently experienced. Um, I attended South by South. Wow. Yeah. Nice. I don't know if you're aware yes. of that. It's like yes. one of the wow. biggest so conferences. Yeah. And at the interactive session, there were 90,000 participants. So what I wanted to share is what I picked up from South by Southwest. And, you know, um, I, I attended several sessions, but there was a recurring theme. And what was that theme about? It actually uh, rooted in why do people do what they do? So if we, I borrow this again from Gary Zuka, and I'm looking at JV. Nice. Generally, what you do is something out of fear or out of love. Do you believe that? Right. So if you think about things that you do, it's either out of fear or out of love. But then again, there are things that you do not have to do, but do anyway. Like drinks and mig and the mojitos. Why do you do it? Because it's fun, right? So, one of the speakers, the recurring theme in South by Southwest Interactive was actually about play. And um, one of the speakers was, uh, the thing about South by South, South by Southwest, or South by, is that it was a birth of Foursquare, it was a birth of Twitter. And this guy, Seth Priestback, is actually the founder of Scavenger. He talks about game layer being on top of the world. What is really game layer on top of the world? For example, school as an analogy. School is a game. You know, when you think about school, it would have challenges, players, you have incentives, you have enemies. But the thing about the way we do school right now is that, you know, you do well in the first quarter, you do well in the second quarter, you really have a bad third quarter, and you fail. So, parang, it's not fair, right? You've been working hard just because of one bad quarter, you fail. So, what, what you want to do to, to or recommend is why don't you change the game? Instead of something that's being graded, why don't we look at school as something that you gain experience? Who wouldn't want to be this guy, right? So you gain experience even if you don't do well. You, sorry. You, even if you don't do well, you gain experience and you want to be this guy. So people, the students are not motivated to be from the standard guy to this super humble guy. So, in, in terms of what, what he was doing, scavenger, he was talking about how do you motivate people to go to places such as, you know, that's uh, popular with Group 1. Um, one of the apps that he did was what he called scavenger. It's putting a game layer on top of the world. You're all familiar with Foursquare, right? Foursquare? Yeah. Have you checked in? No. Are we getting the swan badge? Not yet. Yeah. Anyway, scavenger is apart from checking in, you get points for not just checking in, for saying something, for snapping a picture, for playing with your food, and then as you get more points, you get rewards. And you know, believe it or not, people do this. He also had um, another concept, it's level up. His theory was when you go to a place such as uh, craft, you know, you, 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 have a, you have a promo in Groupon, you go there, you try it, and then you go away. But if you reward people for trying it, liking it, loving it, inviting more people, then that's when you're going to get your regulars, and you can reward your regulars like $10 for $40 for $40 for school. So it's like playing a game, okay? 
Another thing is purposeful play. So it was shown there. Four square, I remember my friend here, YC Ross, we were playing mayor, so bring back, I need to watch a movie right now because Ross is the mayor. I don't think I need to watch a movie next week. So I need to make a big be the mayor. This is evident in group one, cash cash Pinoy, and so go. It's a group play, you want to get the discounts. I don't know if you've seen Nike. This is like a play on top of the, this is really purposeful play. The more you exercise, the more rewards that you get. And if you go to Nivea right now and search for Rihanna, you get to cut a piece, piece of paper and you put it on top of your, uh, in front of your webcam and you get augmented reality. It's really making things fun, right? So if you were a brand, you wanted to create a game or develop a game where your people will follow you. Or you can change the game and have a brand that would be with your people. It needs to be memorable because only if it's memorable can, act, can it be remarkable. So why climb Mount Everest? Because it's there. Thank you so much. Yeah.